about nine months, maybe eight months since last June, which is mental. I can't believe I have not filmed for so, so long. I'm sorry for leaving you all. I was really enjoying making videos, but for some reason I just stopped. I just got really hectic. I will try and explain a bit in the video. But anyway, I thought I'd come back today now that I have time and I'm feeling motivated again and I do my everyday makeup routine, sort of get ready with me and a sort of skincare morning routine, not really a routine, just showing you the products and a catch up and just chatty, chatty video showing you what makeup and skincare I'm using at the moment basically because I just thought I don't want to go straight back into doing a sort of voiceover video and you guys being like, wait what, where have you been? So I thought I'd do this kind of casual video just so you guys can get a little bit updated but also see a makeup tutorial. Oh and do let me know if this background's okay, I'm kind of situated next to my bed, I have an armchair here at the moment because I am moving out in a month or two and I needed some form of chair ready for when I get there in case I can't get a sofa in time so I just have this armchair and I thought why not film in it but it's right next to my window which has these chiffony blinds which I think looks nice but I'll have to double check that it doesn't actually make the videos look terrible but let me know if you like it, it's quite simple, I would like to have something here but I'm not sure what I could put there so so I've already done my skincare because it's actually about 4pm and I've been up for quite a long time now but I wanted to save my makeup for on camera. So for skincare I use at the moment in the morning I use the Antipodes Ananda Antioxidant Rich Gentle Toner which I believe I did use when I last made videos so I've been using this since then and I've literally still only used like this much so I still have a load left so I do think it's really good value for money and then for eye cream I've gone back to using the Malin and Goats Rice Bran Eye Moisturiser which again I think I did use last year but I stopped using it once it ran out for about eight months and then I picked it up again about a month ago and realised how much I love it so I've been using that again in the mornings and for my morning serum I've been using the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Intense Hydrating Booster because my skin is very dry and dehydrated in the winter. For my morning moisturiser at the moment I'm using the Zellens Hydro Shisho Balancing Moisturiser which I got recommended in Space and K when I said I was looking to try out a new daytime moisturiser because all of mine just weren't very well suited to the weather at the moment and I've never tried anything else from Zellens, this is the first thing, they are quite an expensive brand and this was quite an expensive moisturiser, it was £50 but it is quite a big bottle and this is hands down the best daytime moisturiser I've ever used, it's so hydrating and it leaves your skin feeling so, so silky and it's really nice to apply and it's just like the perfect moisturiser because it doesn't make my skin feel really bogged, bogged and bleh, clogged up kind of thing it just makes it feel really nice and smooth and hydrated but not weighed down with products so I can then go on to use a primer and a foundation and things on top without feel like feeling like I'm wearing loads of layers. And then onto primer, I don't always wear a primer, I only wear a primer maybe once or twice a week only usually if my skin is looking quite uneven or if I need my makeup to last a long time but at the moment I've been using the Becca Bronzing Skin Perfector this is just a mini sample size, I do need to pick up the full size but I tend to use this one because it's really nice and bronzing it does make your skin look a lot more tanned in a very natural way and it also gives you a really lovely healthy glow which doesn't look sparkly or really dewy it just makes you look really healthy like you are literally just glowing from within so I really do love this one especially if my skin is looking a little uneven because it does really really help to even out the tone all over or if I'm looking quite pale in comparison to my body then I will use this one so just apply that now it's quite a moussey consistency I'd say but it is really lovely and I tend to use about that much and this primer is so smoothing I don't think it has silicones in it but it kind of feels that way it has a really smoothing texture so that um, foundation does sit a lot nicer on top and it does help your makeup to last as well. So as you can see my skin does look a lot more glowy and even now already and then I tend to go on and use a lightweight foundation. Sometimes I'll just wear a tinted moisturiser or I'll use 
a thing like the Origins Vita Zing, so a very, very light tinted moisturiser, but most of the time I will wear an actual foundation on the days where I do wear makeup. This is sort of my makeup routine for when I want to wear proper makeup. Most of the time I'll just wear very light makeup, which is sort of my gym makeup routine. Do let me know if you'd like to see that, because I do go to the gym three or four times a week, so on those days, obviously, I'm not going to apply normal makeup, then take it off, so I tend to just wear my gym makeup for the whole day. So at the moment I've been using either the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation or the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua which I've been using since last year so you've probably already seen me talk about both of these but I do love them both, they're quite similar really, they're both lightweight foundations but they do have sort of medium coverage and they're very natural and dewy looking and they blend really nicely and sit really nicely on the skin. So today I think I'm going to go for the Chanel. So shake it up because it's water based. And then I just put a blob on my fingers and pat it all over my face. Sometimes I will blend this in with my fingers, but I thought today I'd use a brush so I can show you which brush, I, brush I've been loving at the moment. And it's the Kevin Aquan foundation brush, I think it's just called, yeah, the foundation brush. This is so, so lovely. It's a really lovely sort of big pointed shape, but it's not too pointed, it's kind of rounded and it's really really compact the bristles and it's just really nice for blending in your foundation it was quite expensive but it's most definitely worth it so I just sort of you have to kind of stipple with this which is very weird because it's obviously such a big brush but I sort of tend to stipple over everything first and then buff with it afterwards just to make sure there's no harsh lines Oh, and in case you're wondering what I've been doing for the past like eight, nine months, I thought I'd just quickly recap on my life so you kind of get the gist of why I haven't been filming and what I've been up to. So last summer was sort of when I stopped filming, just sort of like, I think it was June time, so just before summer started. And I did think I was going to film loads during the summer, but in the end I just really couldn't. I sort of spent a lot of time up in Devon because my boyfriend moved there and it was quite a few hours away so it did take me quite a long time to get there and then whilst I was there I'd usually stay for like a week and I'd really make the most of the time there with him and then I'd come back and I'd have loads to do because obviously I'd been there for ages so I didn't really have that much time to actually film or if I did have time to film it was while I was in Devon I didn't have my camera on me things like that so I just really could not find time to film videos and to be honest I didn't really want to film videos I lost a lot of sort of inspiration and I was just really enjoying life and then after summer when we went back to college I went back to college and I also started my new business which was which is called Oh So Lovely Intimates it's a handmade lingerie brand and yeah I started that in September and went back to college so fair enough to say my life was very very hectic I had sort of a hectic few months up until well a couple of months up until October and then when October, by the blah 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 blah, Whew, slow down. So, by the end of October was when I sort of stopped college because I just really could not keep up with college and my business. But at the end of the day, college is there to help you get a job or create your own business and to get somewhere in life. And I thought, whilst I've got this amazing opportunity running my own business, learning through that and sort of making money and just sort of doing something I really love to do. What is the point in giving that up to stay in college to then have to go get a job after college rather than just skipping the college part and doing the job now and having it be 100% my own business. So I'll leave the link down below to the website and to our Instagram page so you can check it out. If you do like things like applique bras and lace bras, stuff like that, then I think you'll love it. So yeah, long run over, I will get on with my concealer now. If you do have any questions for me, like what I've been doing or more things about my lingerie brand or anything about my life in general or any even makeup questions, hair questions, skincare questions, do leave them in the comments. I might do a Q&A if I get enough questions. Obviously, if I don't, I'll just make sure to answer them in the next video. So, on to concealer. I have been using the Dior Skin Star Concealer, which is a new concealer. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago around my birthday because I needed a new lightweight concealer for under my eyes and I wanted one for when I went away to London. So I used this under my eyes and then I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in medium one custard, sort of around my face and like here. So not right under my eyes, just to brighten under my eyes a little bit. 
So I apply the Dior one first. The Dior one's really, really lovely. It's very, very lightweight and moisturising. I don't find it gives me complete coverage. I do have to use this one on top in certain places if I have really bad dark circles or anything like that. But it is really nice for brightening and making the under eye area, area really hydrated. So I just pat this in with my fingers. I don't really like to use a brush with concealer just because I feel like it kind of just brushes it all away. I'm just trying to think of anything else I can tell you all. So, I mean, about a month ago, five weeks ago, I started going to the gym and sort of eating differently. I've been following this thing called flexible dieting slash if it fits your macros. Basically, it's where you work out your daily maintenance calories or cutting calories or bulking calories and then you work out how many grams of protein, carbs and fat you need a day within that and just basically make sure with the foods you're eating you hit those numbers. So I, I don't know, I might make a separate video on this. I'm thinking to make a separate vlog channel but I'm not sure. I might do but Anyway, so basically I've just been following that and I've been making sure I get enough protein, carbs and fat a day and of course enough calories a day so to maintain my weight and alongside that I've been going to the gym three times a week. I'm starting with four days a week next week because I've just sort of got used to going three days and I mainly do weights and so lifting weights, bodybuilding kind of thing just to try and build muscle and up my strength and things like that. It's been going really well. I have posted a couple of pictures on my Instagram, which is xodjo. I will leave the link in the down bar just so you can kind of see, but it's just such a great lifestyle and mentality to get into, and I don't really see myself going back. I'm already seeing progress, and I can't wait to see more. So if you would be interested in learning more about that, I could make a video on this channel, but I'm thinking in the next couple of months to make a separate vlog channel, because I will be moving out, and I'll have sort of my own space to film videos and I'll be able to show you my life a lot more than living at home. So I'm thinking to make a vlog channel, make it sort of like a vlog slash fitness channel and do sort of food videos and recipe videos and what I eat in day videos and sort of workout videos and stuff like that. But let me know if you'd be interested in that anyway. So yeah, I've been doing that and it's just really interesting. I recommend watching YouTubers like Jasmine Garcia and Nikki Blaquetta. They're both really great and who else is there? Heidi Summers and let me think. I'll leave some links in the down bar so you can have a little look see at their channels because they really have helped get me motivated and get into the mentality and just sort of really helped guide me along the journey I've been on so far. Okay. So, next concealer, I keep going off on tangents, I'm so sorry, I haven't filmed in so long, I just feel like there's so much to tell you guys. So, following concealer, this is the NARS concealer, I use this on spots and just sort of to brighten everything up. And again, I blend this with my finger. And I did used to use the shade medium to ginger, but I just found that was getting way too dark for me, I feel like every single year I'm getting paler and paler. <laughs> I feel like this video is already half an hour long and I've only done my concealer. So, right, concealer done, foundation done. Next I move on to powder and I will either use my NARS translucent setting powder, light reflecting setting powder, or I'll use the Chanel Le Beige. I tend to use the NARS if I'm going to the gym because it does really set everything in place or I use the Chanel if I just want sort of a light powder. So I think today I'm going to use the Chanel and I use it with a duo fibre brush. This is the Real Techniques contour brush. I do usually use the face brush from the same pack but this has got blush on it at the moment so that wouldn't go too well. And I literally just sort of put this where I need it. So under my eyes, around my nose, around my mouth, middle of my forehead and that's about it and then next of course I still do my eyebrows so first off I will go in with the Shantakai waterproof brow definer I did used to use the hourglass one and this is basically identical but I find this shade is a little bit cooler and the pencil is a little bit softer so I find it easier to work with but it does still stay in place all day long and I have the shade oak brown but first two 
Oh, and before I forget, now I've been on that huge tangent, I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that stuck around that used to watch my videos last year and has been holding on for me to create new videos. Thank you, and I'm back, and I'm here to make more videos for you, and also anyone that is new and has subscribed to my channel since I haven't been making videos, thank you for supporting me even though I have been a lame YouTuber. Thank you, and yeah, so now you can see some new videos from me, because I do think I'll be quite different from last year, because I am... 18 now, and I guess hopefully I'm more mature. Probably not. Mm -hmm. So, what I tend to do is fill in the main bolt of my eyebrow. I think this is how I did it last year, but I've changed it a little bit. And then the front bit, I will literally take my finger and just smudge it in place because I don't like it to be too dark or too defined. So, I just sort of do that. Smudge it so that the colour's there, but so that it's not harsh lines and I just think it looks nicer and more natural. And then I just go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow which is basically empty now because I've been using this for about a year but I'm using up the last bits of it and I just use this to set my eyebrows in place. So that's that and so next I will go on to contouring slash bronzer. I don't majorly contour every day, I more bronze up the outer perim perimeters of my face and then contour ever so slightly with the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I absolutely love this, it's beautiful! This is the sculpting shade, so this is for the bronzing and contouring side of things and then this is the highlight shade which is for highlighting and it is a really lovely eyeshadow as well. So, I take this brush from NARS, which is their Kabuki brush, I believe. I'm not sure what it's actually called. I'll link it down below or I'll list it down below along with all of the other products I use today because I think it has a really weird name. It's not the Yachio brush, it's the sort of follow on from the Yachio brush because I don't think they sell the Yachio brush anymore. Okay, so anyway, on to contouring slash bronzing. I just take this brush and dip it in the powder. Slight fish face. And this has a really lovely pointed tip so it makes getting under those cheekbones very easy. So that's the sort of bronzing done. I don't really do much, I just sort of brush it everywhere but mainly the outer perimeters. And then for blush I have a choice of three today. So I will either use the NARS Unlawful Blush. This is sort of a pinky shimmery blush. It's got sort of light pink and silver shimmers in this. I don't use this all the time. I only use this if I'm not going to be using a highlight. And then if I'm going to be wearing a bold lip or smoky eye, then I will go for Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, which is just a really, really lovely sort of nudey, browny, just really natural kind of colour which I really do love. But today I'm going to go for this blush which is the, let me show you, the Tom Ford, Ford? <laughs> the Tom Ford Cheek Colour in 01 Love Lust which is just a really really beautiful pinky, corally, peachy colour with loads of tiny 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 gold shimmers in it. It's sort of more of a gold just thing throughout. I don't know. I don't know. I'll apply it and you can see. So just take this on the same brush because I don't like to use those brushes and put it sort of on mm, kind of behind the apples of my cheeks. Kind of on my cheekbones. Kind of. Just kind of further back because I find it makes your face shape look a lot, a lot nicer. And then on to highlight I take this Fancy Dancy brush, which is the Kevin Kwan Large Fan Brush, and the highlight from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, and just take that on the fan and put it on my cheekbones. I feel so fancy using this, it feels so nice. I do put quite a lot on, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, just makes you look really nice and glowy and highlighted, and it does really help to make your cheek cheekbones look really sculpted and beautiful. So, love this, love, love, love this, really recommend it, really recommend this brush as well. I recommend all the brushes I use, I have really sort of scaled down my brush collection, I only use about five now, maybe six if I'm doing a really technical eye makeup look. 
So back onto eyes and I mostly use cream eyeshadows. I do use powder eyeshadows sometimes. I really love the Burberry eyeshadow palette which is called, uh, I have no idea, it's the brown one, I'll write it here if I remember. Or I really love the new Hourglass eyeshadow palettes and I really love the Chanel Lincision Christmas eyeshadow palette which obviously you can't get anymore. But I do really like using powder eyeshadows but mainly only the ones that come in palettes for some reason. I don't really tend to buy single powdered eyeshadows. So I do usually start off by applying the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base but this was a sample and it's pretty much run out so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any out of it but we will try our best. So I'm going to take the Chanel Eyeshadow in Emma Ville first just on my finger and just put that all over the lid. This is such a nice creamy eyeshadow, it feels kind of weird, it's kind of like squishy but I wouldn't recommend squishing it too much. So yeah, you do need to build this up quite a bit though I find, which is annoying, but I don't feel like it's going down very fast at all considering I've used it quite a few times. So now that I've applied that, I'm just going to take the By Terry Ombre Black Star and apply it sort of on the outer corners, just to sort of darken up the outer corners. I do usually, when I wear this, apply it all over, but because I want to do sort of a lighter eyeshadow look today, I'm just going to apply it in the corners. And then I'll take this NARS brush which is called the, um, I don't know, I think it's number 42, it has a 42 in it, so I'm guessing so. So I take that and just blend it out. And once that's all blended, I take, where is it? I will take it again, I don't always do this, but I like to, if I'm just doing the outer corners, I'll just take it and put it on the bottom outer corners just to sort of tie everything in. And then finally for eyes, I take my Clinique High Impact Volume Extreme Mascara, which loads of people were talking about last year, but I didn't pick it up until maybe November time, but I've been loving it since then. It's a really lovely volumizing mascara and you hardly have to apply anything. So yeah, I've been using this most days. And then I also take it on my bottom lashes. I just straighten my hair. Today, I just washed it this morning and it's gone so frizzy. So, finally for lips. At the moment, I've just been wearing nude lipstick. I'm not sure why. I do really love bright colours, but I feel like nude lips just look really chic and effortless and I don't really have to worry about them rubbing off or anything. So, I've been using these three nude lipsticks at the moment. This one is the Laura Mercier Paint Wash Liquid Lip Colour in Nude Rose. This is new. I only bought this. About a month ago at Space and K they had an event and they were just sort of like pushing all the new products and this was one of them and I actually really really love the colour. It's a rosy nude as the name suggests. It's quite a dark colour, not majorly dark but it is a dark nude but it's not like a browny dark nude, it's like a rosy pinky dark nude. I'll show you what I mean in a minute because I am going to use this one today. So the other two which I've been loving at the moment, I'll go through them anyway even though I'm not going to use them. So first one is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Sola Bella, I think it's pronounced, I'm not sure. But this is just a really, really lovely peachy nude shade. It's a little bit deeper than your usual peachy nude, which is better for my skin tone because obviously a really pale peachy nude just wouldn't suit me. So this one's perfect for me. And then the final one is probably my favourite out of the three, but I tend to wear this one more in the evenings because it's Tom Ford. So this is the Tom Ford Lip Colour Shine in Nubily, and this is a really lovely peachy but still pinky nude. It's a lot less peachy than the NARS one, but a lot less um, pinky than the Laura Mercier one. So this is a really nice middle ground, and it's really nice and creamy and glossy and silky to apply, so I love it. But anyway, yeah, today I'm going to use this Laura Mercier liquid lipstick, but first I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I love. I wear this with every single lip colour, unless it's sort of like a red, in which case I'll wear a red lip liner. But I wear this with sort of most lip colours, just because it's really great at outlining your lips and defining the shape. So, just apply this. So, now that that's applied, I'm going to apply the Laura Mercier, and this is quite thick and creamy so you do have to sort of scrape a little bit off. 
So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you liked it guys. As I said, this is my everyday makeup look for when I properly wear makeup. So at the weekends or if I'm going shopping in the week or basically just days where I'm not inside or I'm not going to the gym. So I will list all the products I use in the down bar along with any links that I mentioned or any people that I mentioned just so that you can check them all out and I will list all my links in the down bar and as always do leave me any questions in the comments section and of course do leave me video suggestions in the comments as well because I'm having a little bit of trouble thinking of ideas. I'm going to do a wardrobe staples I think and yeah that, that's all I've come up with so far. So I'm sorry for being gone for so so long, I'm going to try and upload once a week from now on, it'll probably be on Sundays just so I can try and stick to some kind of routine and film at the weekends which is when I tend to not work so much. So thanks for watching guys, do like this video if you liked it and if you're happy that I'm back so I know that you guys are still happy to support my videos and yeah I will see you next time, hopefully next Sunday. Bye!